اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ٹوڈے از 24 فروری 2017 دس ویڈیو از ان انگلش لینگویج اینڈ اٹ از اسپیشلی بینگ اپلوڈڈ فار دا کرسچنس ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ اباؤٹ دا آتما لنگم دا شیو لنگم دا کعبہ اینڈ دا حجر اسود اینڈ دا similarities between hinduism's worshipping way of worshipping the shiva linga in the form of a house of house of the almighty that is the shiv mandir and the muslims kaaba and the christians belief about the black stone of yaqub jacob alayhi salam and uh, the uh, system of worshipping the uh, solomon temple also did you understand now i want to tell as per the christian's faith see first there was the lord of the universe and that lord was the word and that word was first there was a word and that word was the lord and that lord was the word what does this mean it means whatever we see there are two kinds of energies one is matter energy and another is the abstract energy the invisible energy and energy is neither created nor destroyed so what is the energy's level we have to go in depth of science maybe i am not having the proper scientific words uh, to explain that but i can just give an example the entire universe is filled with one energy and that energy may be something like electromagnetic signals and that energy is absolute everything is created out of that energy all the universe even you me everything so the difference what is the difference the absolute energy is abstract and the mankind is not abstract it is a material energy the physical body is a physical energy the matter energy so all should worship the matter energy should worship the only single absolute energy the main source of all energies which is very much existing with without end and without beginning so to make that point understand to mankind almighty gave rise to the jesus christ who is jesus christ a body and flesh body bone and flesh but with built in software that is basic input output system in the body to lead the hands mouth eyes that is a basic input output software the built in spirit okay now another point is the operating software the main operating software that is the holy spirit of the almighty the invis abstract and source of energies you know and that is that is downloaded upon a fortress and that fortress is born as the vice regent or khalifatullah or the representative of the absolute that's what i want to say that that absolute is very big it cannot come into one man okay but that one man jesus christ is the representative is the sign of the absolute and always absolute must be worshipped by entire mankind who are matter energy but few can but uh, mankind can prostrate to second christ or christ the real second christ as a mark of respect but not as absolute this is called as sajda tazim means prostration to the 
rice region the representative of allah om yahweh the absolute the invisible the abstract main source of all energies abstract energies the main source of all energies are you getting my point so that source of all energies the abstract the invisible lord of the universe is also having his form but the we cannot we cannot uh, see it through our eyes and on the judgment day the throne of that absolute will be lifted by eight angels it is also mentioned so what i want to say the hindus are worshiping the atma lingam atma lingam is male and female genetical part in old days it was all open man means the male part female means the woman part that was the initial first first language to show the difference of sexes so adam was made as the vice regent of the absolute the allah yahweh om nirguna brahma mahavishnu okay the invisible lord of the universe made the vice regent the representative of himself in his own image that means representative vice regent to act upon earth and that was adam and adam was alone you know very well so where was the woman inside the adam so the adam was the representative or the image of the lord of the universe who is having feminine and masculine gender in himself means the uh, attributes of father and mother in himself so his image was adam and from adam came the eve did you understand so when adam came upon earth he started worshiping the almighty in the image of male and female form by keeping it on a place and building a house that is the first kaaba it was maybe that first stone the first stone maybe it is hajar e aswad which is affixed in kaaba because authentic proofs are not available but that stone people say it was first an angel and got converted later into a stone and came along with adam upon earth and it will be the witness on the judgment day okay i accept but at present it is in the form of a stone is it not that black stone people say it was white okay even if it was white also it is a stone that stone was made as a symbol of the absolute and it was permitted by the absolute the heavenly father the yahweh to worship him through this stone so that stone was kept in a small house and all mankind used to worship it was it was because allah da yahweh da om da nirguna brahma da elohim da heavenly father da heavenly the absolute do, was not willing mankind to make any image of his so but he permitted one image that is idol which idol the idol of the black stone in the form of male and female okay adam you understand male and female form okay keep it there worship if you worship that it means you are worshiping me the invisible lord that was a contact so that is the house the house of the auspicious one auspicious one means the most beneficial and that not most beneficial beneficial and gracious and uh, benevolent benign the house of the benign the house of the gracious the house of the auspicious one so that word is called in sanskrit as uh, shiva and that is the male and female part that is called lingam means sexes so that was the 
symbol of the Almighty. That became the symbol of the Almighty. Okay, and that was the symbol of that was uh, its representative was Adam and Eve also. It implies upon Adam and Eve because they are the two sexes, male and female. Okay, but that idol which is kept as the male and female part in the house of the Lord is not the Adam. That is pointing to the Almighty. Okay, remember this. After Noah alayhi salam, after the flood, the prophecy again was there about the last saviors coming as the vice regent of the Almighty in the form of Jesus Christ second, in the form of the Mahdi, in the form of the Mahadev, in the form of the destroyer, the Lord Shiva himself was supposed to come upon earth along with his wife, nine, nine wives, in the form of nine Durgas. Nav Durga, nine Durga, Nav Durga, one and the same. Means there will be nine wives to the Lord Shiva one by one. They will enter into the life, but they will be one and the same. Means they are the wives of Shiva, but their forms are nine. So these nine forms are again mentioned in the Bible as Jerusalem, Israel, and then Al Almighty is telling that I married you, but you uh, prostrated to others. You like that it is mentioned it is showing the un unfaithfulness of the wives of the lord and lord is not having the wives the absolute is not having the wives so who was this person to play the role of the lord it was the second jesus christ the mahadev the main actor of the holy drama the vice regent of the almighty upon earth and these nine wives so this is the symbol it became the symbol of the lord shiva also it means lord shiva the mahadev who is none other than jesus christ of second coming was supposed to come among mankind as the vice regent of the almighty this prophecy was there with the hinduism also hinduism means the vedanti people the sanatan dharma people so that became that mandir became the mandir of the, the house of the Lord Shiva also. And Hindus started telling that Lord Shiva is none other than Allah himself. Because we can't see Allah, the invisible Lord of the universe, Mahavishnu. But Mahavishnu's last incarnation will be the Lord Shiva. But later on, it got mixed up. People were ordered not to keep any other symbol there any other image though even though the symbol of uh, goddess durga Ma uh, mahakali and uh, all the wives of the lord shiva and uh, his children's photos were also not allowed but hindus people did this mistake in the same way arabs were all hindus actually edomites they have also done the same mistake and the house of the lord the kaaba which was built by Prophet Ibrahim salam perfected and only one the black stone was kept in between and all should go seven times round of it that is Tawaf and wear the two cloth pieces as if they are worshipping the Allah the absolute so they should go round it and in going round the Kaaba and were prostrating to the black stones house that is the Allah's house which is auspicious one is also another lesson to follow the Christ of second coming when he comes otherwise all these deeds will become null and void because Jesus Christ himself is called as the temple of the Lord in the second coming so Jesus Christ me I am the Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit of the Almighty is in me the body and flesh and the bones are weak but in me the Holy Spirit of the Almighty is there. This is what I want to tell you. So, two things happened by making the mankind worshipping the black stone and the holy temple Kaaba. Kaaba, Allah said in Quran chapter number 3 verse number 96 to 106 that in the house Kaaba are the signs. What are these signs? And 
science then with its little gap little pause the place of ibrahim is mentioned and the blessings and other but in the kaaba the house the main house what are the signs i am asking you in the house there is nothing except the black stone that is a sign so that sign is is not that's the, the, those signs are nothing but the lord shiva symbol the khalifatullah mahdi alaihi salam symbol did you understand and it is the fact only now muslims say no no we don't worship kaaba muslims say we don't worship hazrat aswad only we kiss it only we prostrate to it kissing and prostrating to it is called worshiping no 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 it is not allah correct it is not allah but it is a representative of allah or not upon earth a perfect physical body yes it is so are you prostrating are you worshiping to the physical body or not yes but in what sense because it is the representative of the almighty allah upon earth it is a media between you and the almighty is it not yes but muslims hesitate to say this they feel very awkward they feel bad because it is mentioned that there is no lord but only one lord and he is the absolute and he is not like any material thing any matter okay and how can uh, we worship this uh, kaaba <laughs> there some of them are foolish like this they they should say it is the order of the almighty to worship kaaba as a uniform for the uniformity for the uh discipline and we prostrate to kaaba and we prostrate to the kaaba means whatever is there in the kaaba everything is being prostrated means hazra aswad the black stone is there now what hindu say hindu say correctly that it is a shiv mandir our 360 idols were there and the black stone was in between and muslims what we are uh, muslims are actually worshiping the shiva temple it is called as makkeshwar uh, sangi aswad means the black stone the hajra aswad the same thing because we or uh, hindus are telling that we are also going seven times around of it and we call it durga the feminine goddess durga which is called as allah 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 is a male allah is a female so some of them have considered as a daughters but actually it was the wife of the khalifatullah god and goddess is that the shiva shakti so what they are telling is right they are telling it was shiva temple okay shiva temple it is there in arabic barkat wala auspicious one allah's one of the names is auspicious one so it is auspicious one's temple means house of the allah is it not the mus what christmus hindus are telling that it is a shiva temple muslims are going to shiva temple and our black stone is also there and they are not allowing us with other idols and they say that they are worshiping the invisible lord allah absolute nirguna brahma om yakomkar allah that is also shiva mandir why they are not coming to our mandirs in india or anywhere they should come and worship goddess durga goddess mahakali all should be worshiped uh, they are also worshiping but what is the difference i tell you hindus are were permitted not to worship any other idol let it be the image of shiva also let it be the image of uh, uh, his wives also or any his children or any deity or any angel only the black stone was allowed to worship but these hindus are not following this concept and that's why they became polytheist adding or keeping any image in the house of the lord apart from the black stone and the symbol of the that is symbol black stone in the house of the lord is called as polytheism that is shirk see on the same theory king the solomon was also allowed to make the temple of the lord is it not and on the same theory the on the same system 
Yeah, Jacob also worshipped the black stone. A stone he kept and worshipped because he saw the angels going up and down from a place. Is it not? That's what I want to say. So black uh, that uh, temple, the Kaaba is really the temple of the absolute represented in the form of the black stone and the house. And that there are the signs. What are the signs? If you are worshipping Allah, if you are going round of it, if you are prostrating to it, okay. When the vice regent of Allah, the second Jesus Christ, the Khalifatullah, the Mahdi arrives, you should accept him and join him. Because he is the temple of the Lord. You are all practiced. You have been practicing to proceed to it now you should join him that is the order in Quran you should respect Allah's Rasul and you should join the Rasul you should follow the Allah and his Rasul that is a common verse for all for Muhammad Mustafa وسلم, the last prophet as well as for the Mahdi the diff there is a difference between Rasul word and Nabi Nabi means the prophet one who uh, gives news and the Rasul means the Apostle, the sent one with the mission. So Prophet Muhammad was, was also the Rasul, but last Prophet. And Jesus Christ of Second Coming is just the Rasul, the Apostle, without the prophecies. That is the difference, which Muslims don't know, because they don't understand the wisdom of the Quran. Is it clear to you? Now what I want to say, all mankind are, are ordered to accept the second Jesus Christ and those who follow him are following Allah those who deny him will deny Allah that's what I want to say so the Kaaba is actually 100% the house of the auspicious one auspicious one means in Sanskrit language it is called a Shiva Mandir the house of the Lord Shiv Mandir so what I want to say is Kaaba is 100% the Shiv Mandir but in Arabic language. And it is free from polytheism. No other idols are kept there. All 359 idols are thrown out. The, angel, the idol of the angels, the idols, uh, the idols of the angels, the idols of the um, you know, Lord Shiva and his families, everybody's images are thrown out. And only the part is kept. And that is removed from the uh, center and kept on one side. The family of Prophet Muhammad Mustafa وسلم, was actually worshipping the same house of the Lord and it is the same custom. Upon earth there is no other religion which does the same thing like this as Hindus are doing. So the Shiv Mandir, Prophet Ibrahim وسلم, during Prophet Ibrahim وسلم, Prophet Ibrahim and his uh, house uh, servants were ordered to circumcise. And the same follow, same worshipping system was also being followed by many people surra surrounded by him. And those people got separated and they settled in India. And they started uh, building their own Kaaba, that is a Shiv Mandir. Because by that time the uh, Quran was not delivered and the five times praying ordered, orders were not delivered. And the uh, one single house was not made as a compulsory for all mankind to proceed to it and all other temples were not uh, abandoned. So these people didn't get the news and they started worshipping. They So you can say the Shiv Mandir everywhere is nothing but the Kaaba of the Hindus. That is same but Quran was received by Prophet Muhammad Mustafa in it the orders are strictly to worship only towards it and no other all mosques should be faced towards Kaaba only that so the Kaaba is the biggest Shiva Mandir Shiva means auspicious one it is not the uh, temple of uh, it is not the temple of uh, any image but the black stone which is representing the Allah and the black stone is also representing the 
last savior mahadev the lord shiva the jesus christ of second coming who is called the temple of the lord it is mentioned in the bible also in the second coming of christ christ is the temple of the lord so it is also very much possible that a big flood may arrive come soon upon earth and all the earth may be drowned except the place where i am living is it also very much possible i had few visions about it and uh, there is a it is very danger so then i become the absolute temple of the all believers it means so one who are following me should are actually following the almighty allah but i also worship the almighty allah the mahavishnu the yakom karyo the om the yahweh the heavenly father i am his representative upon earth in the human form but i am not the absolute remember i am absolutes i am absolutes representative with the holy spirit did you understand this is called uh, in other words as son of god son of the almighty which is called ghulam in arabic ghulam in arabic means son actually son so this son means the big absolutes uh, absolutes small representative that is me that's why you people say the son of god so son of god what ghulam in arabic we say ghulam of allah ghulam allah allah's ghulam so i am the allah's ghulam the allah's servant and prostrating to me in uh, as a mark of respect is okay but not as absolute absolute is allah so i say la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah so all the prophecies of my coming identification proofs are 100% certified and nobody can copy because they are the scenes of my appearance again the masjid dajjal the antichrist chapter 6 on the eastern side of damascus that is punjab khadia in india in 1991 i appeared and the holy spirit uh, is with me so there the prophecy says that it, the fourth uh, vice regent of uh, masjid dajjal the antichrist will arrive in an aeroplane and it will be the time of the morning then 70000 uh, people from the jewish tribe the bani israel the yaqub alayhi salam children we gather there and uh, then the masiha will be there and that pious imam will be there that pious imam is none other than masjid dajjal himself though he is a pious in deeds but uh, the antichrist fourth so the antichrist tribal 6 is a complete dynasty religious dynasty of a false messiah i've mentioned in revelation chapter number 13 also and the same is mentioned in 2 ezra chapter number 11 if you see so there is a connection and the white wash of the wall is mentioned in the uh, old testament the false prophet and uh, that antichrist is mentioned in many ways same antichrist is mentioned among hinduism also as uh, six persons but in uh, different stories you it will appear as if it is uh, being for, uh, told by it is being told uh, in uh, it is being told for different six person but no it is for the one and the same they call it ravan jalandhar koka vikoka hiranyakashipu hiranyakashipu and from it derive one word veer basant also did you understand so the same prophecy came true the prophecies of hinduism the prophecies of bible the prophecies of islam one and the same and allah is a real the heavenly father my heavenly father is a real one and i am born through king david's descendant and through my prophet muhammad mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam daughter jean that is my mother so my mother is from the tribe of the kedar tribe and my father from the king david's lineage so i am born on 24th march 1973 as per prophecies in bible old testament the house of the was uh, house of the lord was laid on 24th march year is also disclosed there is the second year of the darius pointing to the rule the spiritual rule so the spiritual rule means prophet muhammad mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam second rule means since the birth of prophet muhammad mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam it is 1402 years that in 1973 i am born and the prophecy came to when i become 40 i will be appearing to the world so it happened in 2012 14th may israel is replaced israel was all the signs are appearing in israel four blood moons everything but a christ was 
supposed to be replaced in other place so i arrived in india you see the coastal line of the israel is replaced with the coastal line of andhra pradesh if you just turn it back like this it becomes reverse and the hudhud the peak hudhud national bird of uh, israel now replaced with the hudhud now peacock because it is known to me only after the emergence of the peacock the dabatul ard and it is speaking so it happened did you understand my brother so i am the special one because the special holy spirit is in, is in me and the scenes all happened in me and i am not the person who learned all this in any institution islamic institution or anywhere it is the prophecy that i will be non arabic speaking person and i will not be having beard because my looks will not be like the prophet but people are assuming though i will be have i have the thick beard also but i removed it because allah ordered me in the vision to remove it so i put i uh, i said allah when i remove my beard you should give me the rain inshallah then as soon as i remove my beard allah gave me the rain as a miracle which i got recorded through my camera that scene that was simple scene but it was very important for me because everything is clear and fine did you understand now so christian should know that allah made the the absolute the heavenly father made the mankind and the muslim and the hindus everybody to um, to accept the second jesus christ when he arrives as the temple of the almighty and follow him if they misbehave with him they are misbehaving with the absolute if they help him with funds or if they help him with with the food and clothing everything then they are helping the almighty it means so that is the main point i arrived i am the man of the scriptures my problems don't you see my genuine problems my people have attacked me genuinely don't you see all the miracles and i did not cheat anybody in the miracles up till now and i don't will i don't want to do it also it is a very big sin the natural miracles used to which happened with me are many is in my daily life every my prayer which is being accepted is also a miracle but the rain miracles and the real miracle of the peacock angel which appeared which happened in 2015 got recorded did you understand so kindly read the complete book of dabatul minalars so i have the other books also made on different topics jesus christ died a natural death lived for 120 years in my last incarnation and it was supposed to be reincarnated as mahdi it is a proof a complete book of proof then another book jesus himself is the mahdi with all the proofs of quran hadith and old testament new testament and vedas and the puranas okay and the interpretations of the dreams of the prophets which came true but in different area the places names were metaphorical which came true in india and the scenes were same which happened perfectly people thought that mahdi will be coming in makka and some people went there and claimed and they were killed they they were foolish they never thought that the visions of the prophets also are having uh, are having different interpretations so it is nothing to do with the makka kaaba mahdi was not never supposed to come in kaaba and in syria anywhere but in india as per prophecies so it happened okay uh, you uh, see muslims are taking the metaphorical places names as literal like husun tuniya means istanbul the uh, the uh, husun tuniya the iraq iran bola uh, syria jerusalem bablud uh, yahudia isfahan khorasan these all names the kaaba the destruction of the kaaba the destruction of kaaba and the te- mahdi is taking shelter in kaaba these are all metaphorical it means mahdi's house itself is called as kaaba means kaaba represent the house of the lord okay the mahdi's house it means so it happened in india in hyderabad rajendranagar area upper peril area in 2012 it happened the people surrounded my house when i was taking shelter in my own house when i came from the city the madina and makam is a small 
village there the people gathered when there was a road and my opposite side my own house was there and in between the road and the rented house and it the scene happened in 2012 and on 14th may it is also the message to the world that israel is replaced israel was formed on 14th may and it is replaced with the new israel there israel is me only also it is means khan khan means the prevailer the conqueror it means the khan so maudud means my name is maudud maudud means masya masya means most beloved benign derived from the word wadud so maudud khan ahmad means the far khalid Muhammad, the my name, all names. So all four names are mentioned in the holy books. So Madud also means the Shiva, the auspicious one, the benign, the benevolent, the kind. Okay. So all the prophecies came true, but in India. Did you understand now? And many more. You can know all the details through my books. Are still eleven topics are being uh, uh, edited by me, and I am writing them. And out of them, 99, 90% uh, the Dabatul Earth book is completed. So the same scene of Prophet uh, Moses and the Pharaoh for the certification of Quran are happening with me but in different style.